Okay, so after I've downloaded this, the files, I'm going to go ahead and put that directly into Final Cut Pro. And there'll be a link here where you can do that. And of course, you know how to decompress the files. We've done it a million times. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Uh, I'm going to go here. This is what you got to do. Start a new library and call it Shootout. So I'm just going to go here. Shoot out. And I'm saving it on my desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and import those files, which I have on my desktop right here. And you guys will have the same uh, files to work with. OK, so you just take this folder and you drag it into that dated folder right there. OK, it's just an XML file, which is another thing I'll be showing you guys. OK, so here's all the files for the shoot, including some portraits that we shot uh, for uh, promotional stuff. Cool little moments there. Uh, there was more that we didn't include here because I didn't want to make it too complicated. All right, and it's like we got this close up too. You know, and these are finger guns that they're using because um, can't have guns on campus. Imagine that. Okay, so here's the establishing shot that starts out the scene. For some reason, it's in the wrong format. Uh, not sure what happened there. The uh, cinematographer I was using didn't understand. What was happening okay so now you've got to set up the movie all right and you've got uh 80 some scenes here to go through all right so start a project and call it shootout and uh dash and your name in there so i'm just putting power in for me and hit okay all right so what we're going to do here is try to figure out which ones we need to start with well the first thing you're going to do here is go through all your clips Look at this little icon here, click, you can click on this icon, and you can start to zip through the work and see what you want to use. Okay, so one way to do that is to close some of these tabs here, uh, and you can even uh, come over and close this by clicking there, and now you can take a look at these files, and you need to make sure you're on view, go down to skimming. So you can skim through the files and figure out which ones you want to use, okay? It's a good basic start here. Now, some of these obviously are ones you're not going to use. Like here, I think someone walks through. There was a blooper there. They didn't get it right. Uh, so you got to find the ones that you think are the best. And here are the takes. And they're talking about how uh, they're communicating for this guy to get through there, to go around and chase down the girl. All right. So, um, you know, there's a lot of different bloopers here, which are kind of fun. But we do need the scene. Uh, to be shot uh, or to be edited the correct way. And here, this is my assistant director, Juan Estrada, helping out with direction. They're just not getting what I'm saying. Or they weren't taking me serious. I have no idea what's going on there. Uh, but this is the first part. Get those files in there. Start organizing them. Another thing you can do is you can hide the rejected files here. But what's cool is let's say you're going through and you're finding ones that you like. So let's say you like this one. You click on it and hit F on the keyboard. That marks it as a favorite. So you can go back and just have favorites come up, and it just shows that one file, the one I just hit F on the keyboard for. Okay, pretty cool. And then you can go to All Clips or just Hide Rejected. And to reject something, let's say you wanted to reject the uh, bloopers part up here, which is this one here. I think uh, they were messing up. You can just hit Delete on the keyboard. It doesn't actually throw away the file. It's still here. As you can see, it popped back in. It just helps you eliminate the ones you don't need. So, all right. So, guys, good luck with this. The first thing you're going to do is go to the um, the muzzle flashes. Okay, do the muzzle flashes first because you're going to be putting those in as effects later on. After you get the muzzle flashes done, then you move on to organize uh, and do an assembly edit first, which means a very, very rough assembly of how you think it can go. A rough cut is next where you're going to put the, that together in a more refined way, start adding adding the sound effect or the uh, effects to it. You have rough cut with special effects added. So you're going to go do muzzle flashes, assembly cut, rough cut with the special effects, but no sound effects added yet. The next one is a rough cut with everything. So you've got your um, muzzle flashes, sound design, and Foley. Uh, so you've got your uh, muzzle flash in there, sound effects, special effects, 
Foley sounds, everything in that rough cut. Then you have a final cut of the film, um, which is the one that you're going to be turning in the week before final exams. You still have to be there for final exams. Okay, You can't avoid not being there. You're still going to have to answer a question in the final exam, which basically is did you turn in your final film. Uh, you've got just over five weeks to get this done. It sounds like a lot of time. The deadlines are every week, and they're not flexible. Okay, you have to have each one of these things in on time. I'm not going to allow it be, to be turned in late. There's no reason in the world for it to be turned in late. You have five weeks to do this. Every week there's a deadline. Some weeks there's two deadlines. You can get this done. If you need my help, you know where I am. Final Cut Pro is the best way to do this, and you can do it, okay? Get out there and edit. Thank you. Good luck.